Hi there, my name's Will. Welcome to an overview of the entrepreneurial marketing for the Bike Nest in Keithley. Definition of entrepreneurial marketing is an emphasis on adapting marketing to forms that are appropriate to small and medium sized enterprises, acknowledging the pivotal role of the entrepreneur in any marketing activities. However, this definition isn't set in stone as there are quite a lot of other definitions. This one was just my favorite. Main differences between entrepreneurial and traditional marketing is that entrepreneurial marketing is quite a lot cheaper, whereas on the other hand, traditional can be more expensive. Entrepreneurial marketing tends to use local networking as well, so word of mouth and smaller platforms, whereas traditional marketing does use larger platforms and mainstream sources such as television. Uh, entrepreneurial marketing is also a smaller scale, whereas in comparison, traditional marketing is on a larger scale, reaching out to more people, as there are dedicated teams that tend to be doing traditional marketing in larger businesses. So in entrepreneurial marketing, it can be more time consuming as well. However, you do tend to be more innovative with it, which is definitely positive of it. As I was saying, Bikeness is an independent bike retailer, which does services and repairs. Uh, it does have entrepreneurial marketing, but there's always room for improvement as well. So for the macro environment, it basically just means the factors that the business cannot control. So for example, the gross domestic product, unemployment rate and inflation, there's tax as well. These all increase business costs, like gross domestic product is how much a business makes or a country makes, depending on how you want to look at it. So all of these will affect finances, which could decrease your budget for manufact for uh, marketing even, sorry. Um, so you'd have to decide who you want to market to and how you do want to market, um, which is definitely a downside to macro environment. I wouldn't recommend it for a small business. There's also the microeconomy as well, the internal environment, so basically just uh, terms that a business can control, uh, such as business location, wages, premises, product prices, and loads and loads more stuff like that. Just little things that will affect budgets or how you want to market as well. Um, entrepreneurial marketers can also use tools such as the Port of Spy Forces, as well as uh, product life cycles to decide how they want to market, when they want to market, where they want to market, and who they want to market to, and all things like that. They are some of the port five forces. Um, but I'd say that the main issue with the microeconomy in marketing, that it does heavily rely upon the entrepreneur. They do have to be innovative and they do have to kind of know what they're doing, if you know what I mean. Um, and it can be difficult to know which part of the product life cycle um, and on the product is actually in, um, which makes it difficult for the entrepreneur. So uh, there's definitely downsides to the microeconomy as well. Uh, furthermore, I came up with some entrepreneurial qualities such as being focused on a dedicated goal, uh, being innovative as well, opportunity driven, value driven, and uh, just other factors that an entrepreneur would require. The current market and activities that the bike nest currently undergoes, um, a Facebook page just like more small businesses, um, 500 followers and like around 500 likes as well, which includes reviews, photos, and other information on the, on the actual business. Uh, the business owner also had a good reputation with his previous employer, which was um, quite a large business also selling bikes. Um, so he could advertise to like quite a big customer base before actually starting, which definitely, definitely helped with sales uh, and word of mouth helped as well. Furthermore as well, through actual local knowledge and experience, he was able to attend most bike races. So he got to speak and advertise through banners and flyers to his target customers as well, which was definitely beneficial. And uh, I'd argue quite entrepreneurial. However, I do have some suggestions for improvement. Much like most businesses, um, you could do improved personal networking, uh, which is literally just talking to more people and giving people more incentive for word of mouth promotion, so such as a discount or something. Um, there's also relationship marketing, which focuses on longer term customer engagement, uh, which is definitely beneficial as you'll probably see more repeat customers. Furthermore, you could use cause related marketing. Basically, just working with a charity or some good hearted company for mutual gain, um, as you'd be seen as a more socially beneficial business, which is definitely beneficial. Um, as well as this, you could even be a bit more abstract and use guerrilla marketing, which is like entertaining the customers, like making them want to buy from you. Uh, for example, giving away free products or even creating media, such as a video that'll go viral and people all over the world will see it too. Uh, to market your business. Or uh, finally, you could use some ambush marketing, uh, which is probably not the best way to do it, but it is uh, benefiting from other advertisers' campaigns to benefit your own brand. So using their gain for yourself. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching.